Okay, so I decided to break up this video into two parts. So this is just going to be me showing you what I got from the Sephora VIB sale. I originally made it one big old haul video, but of the other things that I got, but it was ending up being too long. So I do mention that I got other things in this video, but it's just the Sephora stuff in this one. So enjoy. Okay, so hey guys, so today's video is going to be yet another haul video, but honestly, after this, I'm going to put myself on such a no-buy for like a couple months. I know I say that all the time, but I just wanted to share with you guys the rest of the stuff I decided to pick up during the Sephora VIB sale haul. Um, but I finally got my order that I was waiting for for like a week and a half, and I picked up most of the stuff in store, and I was just waiting for these other two items to come. So I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys what I picked up not everything in this bag is sephora like it looks pretty overstuffed i just put everything else in here that i want to share with you guys that i picked up from a, a couple of other places like ulta i also have things from ulta marshall's and tj maxx to share with you guys but it's only like two or three things from each place so let's just go ahead and jump into it so obviously i'm going to share with you guys what i picked up from sephora first so i did pick up a few other blushes and i decided to pick up another one of the melt cream blush lights and I got the shade Lynx. I just thought this looked so pretty in store so I decided to pick it up in another shade and I kind of was intrigued by these blushes. I don't know why. They just look like such pretty colors so I decided to pick up another shade but this is one of the shimmer versions not the um, matte version that I picked up with the shade Sandy Cheeks the first time. I decided to pick up one of the shimmer versions. And honestly, it doesn't look as shimmery in person. And it says Lynx on the back. And these just swatch so damn pigmented. And they just, it looked like such a pretty shade that I decided to try this one as well. And it is really pretty on the face. Again, I'm not the most crazy about the Melt cream blush formula so far I think I need to try it actually without setting my face this time I keep on forgetting to try it without setting my face first but they are really pretty um I'm gonna try it out a couple more times and see how I feel I have used this a couple of times and I did like how it looked on my face so we'll see okay sorry I forgot to put a necklace on I can't seem to find the necklace that I want to wear anymore so I just end up putting on my Tiffany necklace for basically every day. Okay, so I did to, did also decide to pick up a concealer as well. For some reason, I forgot to like pick up this concealer during the first round of the Sephora sale, but you guys know my mind has been like elsewhere. It's like even hard for me to form my words today, so please forgive me. So I did also pick up the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer in the shade Mallow, and the reason why I got this one is because Tara Babes was talking about this one in her first Sephora haul for the orders that she made. Because you, if you guys watch Tara Babes, you guys know that she pretty much goes crazy for the sale. And if you want to watch someone that has like the biggest makeup collection you've ever seen, go watch her. She's amazing. I watch her so often and like her hauls are like insane. She has like every piece of makeup in existence. It's insane. But she did pick up this concealer during the sale, so this is what the concealer looks like. Um, and it says the shade Mallow on the bottom. And then this is the applicator. It's like a pretty easy um, applicator to use to apply the product. I do really like this concealer. I think it looks really nice and cre and it's very creamy on the skin. It really reminds me of the Kosas concealer. They're kind of the same consistency. This one has a little bit less coverage than the Kosas. But I do really like it for everyday wear. So I have been really liking this concealer so far. I am wearing a different concealer today. I'm not sure if I really like it so far. It's kind of already creasing underneath my eyes. But I'll let you guys know which one I'm wearing later in the video. But I do like this one. So I am going to keep on testing that out. And probably going to end up keeping it. Okay, so I did also pick up a couple of products from... Um, Patrick Ta, so I did pick up two items. For some reason, like, you know, I said I was going to skip over his brand, and then a lot of people were talking about how good his cream blushes are, so I decided to pick up one of his duos. So I picked up the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush, um, the Patrick Ta Four Face 
uh, cream blush duo in the shade do we know her for some reason this shade is not as popular as like the she's so la and the like pink shade but i thought that this color would be one that i was gonna wear a lot more often and plus this one's like usually the only one that's in stock half the time when i go to the store for some reason like my blush is a little bit weird today i don't know why I'm wearing a different blush, but it is very pigmented, so I didn't want to go, like, too ham with it. But I feel like I just have to blend it out a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, So I'll show you guys what this one looks like. So this one's called Do We Know Her? Again, I love this packaging. It's so pretty. And then this is the blush in the cream version and the powder. This is so pretty, you guys. I think that this is such a stunning shade. I think that this is going to be such a pretty summer duo to wear because it's like such a pretty color for spring but especially for the summertime and I'll show you guys what it looks like I actually have worn this a couple of times and I really really like this I think I like this cream blush formula more than the melt formula so this is the cream on the bottom and then the powder is on top the powder is so super buttery soft and the cream is just, it applies so beautifully on the skin. So I really have been enjoying this. I've heard really good things about the blush duos. So I'm excited to wear this more for you guys. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. And I love this shade. So I'm just surprised this is not as popular as the other ones. Maybe people think it's going to be too bright. But honestly, once you apply it on the face, it's not as bright as it looks in the... um pan it kind of shears out more and it looks beautiful on the skin and then I also picked up one of his lipsticks and this is the major headlines matte suede lipstick in the shade oh she's single by Patrick Ta um, and the reason why I picked up this one is because I saw Morgan Turner wearing this in one of her videos and I was like that looks like such a stunning shade and I've been kind of really intrigued on trying his lip products so I picked up the shade oh she's single this is what the packaging looks like very Tom Ford X esque, not X. And then this is what the lippy looks like. It's such a pretty nude, right? Oh my god, I was like dying over this shade. And it's so pretty. Like, it just doesn't it look like a perfect everyday nude shade? And I've worn this a couple of times and I love it. It's so beautiful on the lips, so comfortable, and I think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of it. Over the next couple of months after, you know, we can actually start wearing lipsticks out without masks anymore, maybe at some point. But I still wear the lipsticks underneath the masks anyway. But this is just so comfortable. So pretty on the lips. I really have been enjoying that as well. Then I also picked up one more blush. I know, I swear. Um, blush products. And I got the, this just sucked me in and they had it in store. So I decided to pick it up because I saw it in store and I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. So I got the Artist Couture Love Sprung Face Palette. And this one is in the shade, I believe this is the, why doesn't it say it on the packaging? So this is what the outer packaging looks like. I just think that this color kind of just sucked me in. Oh, I can't. I always forget I can't get it out on this side. I think that this is volume two. It does not say on the packaging which volume this one is. I don't know why it doesn't say. It says the more. It does not say the, the version, which I'm kind of annoyed about. So let me just look it up. Okay, V1 stands for version one. So this is version one. Sorry, guys. So this is what the inner packaging looks like again so pretty and then these are the three shades that you get in the face palette so you get like you kind of get three blushes this isn't really a bronzer it's more of like a shimmery blush um when I did look at the description about it it does say it's not really a bronzer it's a like blush or kind of like a blush topper but I think that this is a little bit too dark to be a blush topper as well um so I've been using it as a blush so we have Baby Bloom, and Eternal Flame, and Swoon Me. And you guys, I mean, this is the first time Artist Couture has come out with blushes. These blushes are stunning. 
I think that this has been my favorite blush formula that I've tried so far. Out of all the blushes that I've been been trying lately, these are stunning. They're so buttery smooth. You barely need to dip into the pan, but it's not like overly pigmented, like you're going to go overboard. But literally, I just tap my brush into it and it's like blends out so easily and it's so pigmented. And it's like one, two, three. It's so beautiful on the cheeks. So this one is the pink shade, which is Baby Bloom. And then the orange is Swoon Me. They are so beautiful. They And they're so buttery smooth. But I have been loving these and I've been wearing them quite a bit. I've worn both of these shades twice and this one once. And they are just so beautiful on the skin. So I'm kind of really loving this. And I'm so glad that I picked it up because I didn't think they were going to be this good. These are stunning on the skin. So I've definitely been enjoying that. Um, so I'm really glad that I got that. And then I did order two things online as well. So I just want to get through the makeup first. And then I did pick up two skincare items. So the first product is I really wanted to test out a new loose powder because I haven't tested out a high-end loose powder in a long time. So I was kind of intrigued to try a new one. So I decided to get the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. And this one's in this shade Light Medium 2. Um, of course, right after I ordered this, I was watching um, Morgan Turner and she raved about the under eye setting powder, like the under eye um, pressed setting powder for your under eyes because Pat McGrath also makes like a special setting powder for underneath your eyes. But for some reason, I didn't order that one. I really wanted to try the loose powder. So I decided to get this one. I bet it's probably almost the same thing. Um, it's and this is the shade light medium too. So this is what it looks like. I think it's really silky smooth underneath the eyes. I've been using it the past two days and I really like it so far. It kind of has like a yellow tint to it. Let me not make a mess of this because I keep on making a mess of it every time I open it. But it's kind of like more yellowish tone. Like she doesn't really have like a super fair shade. But I kind of like that because... It kind of like, you know, just like meshes well with your um, concealer. It doesn't really like add like a super brightening effect. And it's so silky smooth. Like this feels like nothing when you're applying it. It doesn't feel powdery at all. So I really have been enjoying this as well. Again, I've only had it for two days, so I'm still kind of testing it out. But I really like it so far. But I might pick up the under eye setting powder at some point. But since I just got this... And the Dior press powder. I don't know if I'm going to pick up another powder anytime soon. I might though. And then the last thing that I got makeup wise. Is this is also a highlighter that. Terabyte, ter, terabibes, terabibes constantly raves about. And this is the Aether Beauty Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighter. In the shade Diamond Dust. So this is what the packaging looks like. I thought the shade name was on the top. But it's not. Um, and let me open it up for you guys. It looks like it's going to rain at any point. I hope it doesn't rain by the time I leave for work because that will kind of suck. Um, so let me just open this up. I don't know why this takes me forever to open. Like so annoying. Oh my god. I swear. I don't know why these makeup companies make these things so hard to freaking open. And I put this in the wrong way when I put it away last time. So... All right, we got it out, Caitlin. Good job. Woo. Okay. So I decided to pick up this highlight, and this is what it looks like. I love the packaging. So cute. And then it says Pure Diamond Dust on the back. It's actually called Pure Diamond Dust, not just Diamond Dust. Sorry. And then this is what the highlighter looks like. I think it's so pretty. And Tara Babes always raves about this as using this as like a inner corner highlight or like a brow bone inner corner. And then she also uses it as a face highlight, obviously, as well. And it's just so stunning. I used this yesterday, and I use it in, like, a Sephora VIB sale, like, get ready with me. Because usually I film quite a bit of those. If I, like, pick up quite a few products, I usually try them out in a video and show you guys how they perform. And this is beautiful. It's stunning on the skin. I thought that this was so pretty. So I'm really glad I picked it up. I know that she pretty much does not steer me wrong when it comes to highlighters because she's like me where she loves like a blinding glow and this is beautiful. I really, really like it. 
And then the last two things that I decided to pick up from Sephora, and then everything else is from a different store, um, is I did pick up, did I share my, I shared my eye cream in my last haul, right? So I did just decide to pick up another back of, back up of my, um, the Inky List Retinol, because you guys know I love this retinol, so I figured since the sale was still going on, I wanted to get another backup of it. I'm almost through my second one of these, and I really enjoy this, so I decided to pick up another one. It's a really good, like, inexpensive retinol. Like, the Inky List is great. I really have been loving all their products. And then I did pick up another thing from Ole Hendrickson, but I kind of fell in love with her under eye brightening cream in that set that I got, like, a month ago. So I just decided to pick up the Ole Hendrickson See Your Best Selfie Brightening Moisturizer and Eye Cream Set. So this comes with the eye cream and the vitamin C moisturizer that I also have in a full size that came in another set that I really love. So I figured since I love both of them, I might as well get this. And it was a little bit cheaper getting this set than just getting the eye cream by itself. So this is the Banana Bright Ioning. ironing the Banana Bright Eye Cream, and then the moisturizer also comes in here as well. Oh my god. The struggle is real today. Why is everything a struggle to get out of the packaging? There we go. And this is the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, and I really, really love this moisturizer. I usually use this moisturizer after I, like, take my makeup off, like, earlier in the day. If I take it off at, like, five or six o'clock if I've like filmed a video and that's like the only time I'll wear makeup that like I'll I mean if I stay home and film a video I'll film it at like four or five o'clock like if I don't go out that day I'll just film a video to just put makeup on and then I'll use that moisturizer after I like wash the makeup off because it's a really nice like daytime moisturizer and it feels so nice on the skin so that is everything that I picked up from Sephora and then it. so now I have to go I really thought I was going to have more time to get through more of these products right now but I guess I'm just going to have to try and film the rest when I get home which won't be that big of a deal I'll try and film it when I get home later after dinner so yeah bye